the Joe Rogan experience. That's crazy because I remember hearing that as well. Like crack babies was a thing we were all worried about in the 80s. Oh my God, wait till the year 2000. All these crack babies are 20 years old. Yeah. That and was where the thing. Where are they now? Yeah. Where are they now? Maybe they're mumble rappers. <laughs> Maybe that's what's going on. <laughs> Maybe that's uh, it. I shouldn't laugh at that. Yeah. You did though, because <laughs> because you understand real rap music. <laughs> oh man, I'm just worried you wrote that I'm about real like hip hop. I'm just, the old man, right? I know it's just yeah. so lame to oh, be like that. the kids these days. I'm definitely yeah. that. That's who yeah. I am. Yeah, that's I'm embracing. Are it. you into hip hop? I was yes, I was asking talking to someone. Yeah, okay, sure. who's who is yeah. your kind of generation? Nas, huge Nas fan. Uh, uh, Gangstar, love uh, love Gangstar. Um, of course, Biggie, Tupac, you know, the, the classics, you know, I mean, Big yeah. Daddy Kane, I'm a, I love EPMD. Yeah. That's I, the I, old, I old love, school East yeah, Coast stuff. Yeah. Just, I, you know, um, God, there's so many, there's, it's just that era. It was like, I mean, there's a cu couple of eras and that I just listed, but it's lyrical. Like Nas is my favorite, I think. Yeah. Because his lyrics they're so intricate, you know, he's, he, the way he words things, mm -hmm. like you just go, oh shit, you know, yeah. you, you hear his lyrics, you just go, oh. Nas is like the king of, he's like the oh shit king. Yes, yeah. <laughs> for lyrics, man, he's the best. What was the, was it Rewind? What was the one where he, he played the whole song backwards? Oh yeah, like I from, know what you're talking about, yeah. From the bullet going back into the gun all the way through the entire story. He starts at the end and then backs up the story. Amazing. Maybe he had some fucking classics. I think he's the best writer in all of hip hop. Yeah. Well, you know, it's just his beats don't always hit me the right way, but he's got so many classics. He's earned like the right. But um, but my big thing, because I did live in New York and I was an East Coast, you know, like music snob and yeah. uh, like Biggie is clearly the best ever. I got and one then, for you. Uh, let me I'll find, go out, for it, yeah. find out if you're real. Cool G rap. Oh yeah, he's the. I mean, he's the original. He's the best. He's undisputed, undisputed yeah. underground guy. Like people don't know. Yeah. Like you list like some of the greats of all time. People don't say Cool G rap. They Go should, back yeah. and listen to Cock Blocking. That is one of the best uh. fucking songs <laughs> ever. To this day, I'll go listen to that song and it'll make me laugh. Yeah, that was. Uh yeah, I mean that that like '80s New York stuff is so so much of it. Hill Street Blues. So like so intellectual, so yes. amazing wordplay. Yes. But see, when I came to LA though, everyone's like Tupac, 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 and I was like, I don't get it, man. He's his flow is not that great, you know. I just don't get it. But but the more I I, I like listen to his lyrics, the more I saw he was more than just a rapper. He was like a cultural influence. He was like a political leader to a lot of people. And finally, I'm like, yes, I get it. He stood for something. And now, like, I just don't hear Biggie the same way, you know, because so many of his songs are about, you know, partying and crime and stuff. And the the bigger message of Tupac just really won me over in the end. Well, I don't think it's a competition, but I know what you're saying. I mean, Tupac definitely had a different vision. But Biggie, you also have to realize Biggie was like, how old was he when he died? Oh, yeah. 24 they both were, or something? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Tupac was 25. Um, one of my favorite videos <laughs> of Biggie is Biggie standing on a street corner when he was like 16, 17 years old rapping. Do you ever see that? Um, I think I have. In oh, bed, Jesus. With the lumberjack stuff? Yeah, he's got a fucking, I, I, I think he might even have a piece of paper in his hand uh -huh. where he's like reading the rap off or he's got it like in case he fucks up. Oh, but yeah. But his Forget flow it. was so good even as a little kid yeah. he was a fucking kid man yeah. and he was like as good as any rapper alive what do you, can you find that can we play that we'll get in trouble i'll play it for you afterwards uh, yeah we'll play, after the podcast we'll play it and his his breath control and like yes. his weight sometimes i feel like you got to be like yeah. fat almost sometimes. to be an amazing singer or rapper well comedians too a lot uh, of fat comedians, like Patrice O'Neill, one of the greatest of all time. There was something about his girth when he was on stage. Uh -huh. He had like power in the like this whole thing. Uh -huh. Here's Biggie the on delivery. stage. Yeah, see, he's got oh, a piece yeah, of I've paper in his hand. That's amazing. It's a yeah, towel. summer. He's What's so that? small. A towel. Oh, it might be a towel. Oh yeah, you're right. Age 17, Seventeen years old in bed, bed, bed Stuy. Yeah, and just murdering it, murdering it. He's not everybody doing around takes. him. No, look at everybody. <laughs> You know, I saw this um, early Tupac videos and heard early Tupac recordings, and his original style influence 
was actually Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yes. Well, remember episode. when he was a dancer for yeah, Humpty for, Hump? Yeah, Digital Underground. Yeah, yeah. He, well, he was like in the background of the Humpty Hump dance. Yeah, da, yeah. Da, 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 Arsenio da, da, Hall, you can see him <laughs> oh, doing oh, that. Yeah. yeah, no, Tupac was a dancer. I mean, and when he was young, which is really interesting when they interview him, he was like, he wasn't thugged out at all. Like, Well, he's was, the son of two Black Panthers, yeah. you know? The politics was always his thing. What is that from? Oh, he, he, he had the, trouble. Oh, yeah, that yeah, movie. The Gumby yeah, haircut. that's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I forgot about yeah, that. That was that's his Dan debut. Yeah. That, yeah. that was his, like, <laughs> solo debut. Uh, wow. Yeah, Digital Underground. Whatever happened to them? Humpty, uh, Humpty, Hump, Shock G. He's still, yeah. he's still around. He's. They I mean, were so good. They yeah. had great shit. When you write a song that's as profitable as the Humpty Dance, I would imagine it kind of like saps your need to to do too much else when you're that set. Mm, but guess, but no, he he has though. He's he's the real deal. 